Welcome back to Vitalize. Last week, uh, Gemma and I had a chat about why we share our stories. And today I'm joined by Darren. And we're going to have a chat about how. We get that we want to tell our stories. We know why, but actually how do we physically go about doing that? Darren, have you got any thoughts for us? Yeah, I think I think the temp- temptation often with, uh, with sharing your stories is that you want to get everything in. You want to get out the whole package. You want to get how you were before, how you were afterwards, what happened in the middle, and and get it all in. I think I think the real key key for sharing your faith is is first of all to make it relevant, relevant to the conversation that you have, and relevant to the, the person. But don't try and share it all. Just try and share a snip of, of what of what God has done for you. Um, often that will open up more questions, so you can then start to uh, to, to unpack a little bit more. But just uh, just sharing those small bits about uh, uh, what God has done in our life, I think I think those can be really powerful. Otherwise, you end up kind of losing people when you just go into kind of automatic on on everything um, you do. So I think you know first first thing I'd say is 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 really keep it keep it simple. Um, Darren, that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. I absolutely agree. It's it's so tempting, isn't it? We've got amazing testimonies as Christians. It's so tempting to want to try and tell our entire life story uh, in like the five minutes that we have somebody's attention for. But actually it's about choosing those moments that are relevant uh, to the conversation, to the situation that we're currently in. And I would say that as we reflect on those elements of our story, as we begin to share with others, there are three kind of questions that help me to consider my story and how I might share it. The first one is, what was I like before? What was I thinking? What was I feeling? What was I doing? What was the context of the situation I found myself in? Second question, what did God do? What actually happened? What did I do to invite God into my situation? And then third question, what happened as a result? What was the result of God intervening? What was the difference that God made in my life in that situation? How was I feeling and acting? What was I thinking after God had intervened? What was the result of my faith? What was the impact of Jesus on my situation? Yeah, I think I think sometimes we can get we can get quite nervous about doing this, and, and we we feel like we kind of stumble over our, our words. I think a really important thing. Find someone who you can practice with, you know, practice with your friends, someone who, uh, you, you know, who, who already is a Christian, but who can kind of just, you can just get used to telling your story in different ways. And the more we're familiar with it, I think that the, the easier it is to, to say it without stumbling over our words. So yeah, find someone and, and practice, practice doing these things so that when the opportunity arises, we can take, uh, we can take uh, the most of those situations. Thank you for, for joining us today for our, uh, for, for our little coffee break. Um, yeah, we'll be doing some more videos soon, so why don't you come and, and, uh, and tune in again.